Hi, so today we'll talk about the Master in Computer Science at the Institute of Informatics in Neuchâtel. This is a master that is jointly given by Bern, Neuchâtel and Freeport. Uh, even though this is three different universities, actually getting from one to the other is not very difficult and it will be completely reimbursed for every student. Now, there is a very large choice of course and research topics because it is given by three different universities, more than any one university could give. All the master courses are in English, but you should note that if you require to do a prerequisite course at the bachelor level, this might be in French or German. There are common systems and rules in all the universities. The university accommodation is affordable relative to Zurich or Geneva, and this environment here in the north of Switzerland has a very cultural diversity, French and German, and lots of cultural attractions and sports. The program is divided into two parts, the first being the coursework, which is worth 60 credits, and the second being your master thesis, which is worth, worth 30 credits. And you can also do a long master by taking another minor, another 30 credits, which could be done in, for example, biology, ecology, economics, or any other science, such as mathematics, that has relation to computer science or computer science applications. Now, how does it work? You need to complete 12 courses to get your uh, 60 credits, and that includes a minimum of eight actual courses and a minimum of two seminars. Every course or seminar is worth five credits. Five credits means you have to do 140 hours of work in about 14 weeks. That is definitely four hours of classwork and then four hours of homework every week plus two hours of reading. Okay, so you could take four courses more or less every, every semester at the maximum. Now, seminars are less regimented, uh, they don't have maybe regular lectures and they're more task oriented. That means that you might need to read papers, present the papers, do a small project, but still the amount of work is supposed to be the same. None of the courses at the master level are mandatory, but as I mentioned, you might have prerequisite courses that will be mandatory. Now there are six tracks here and in the program, including distributed systems, advanced software engineering, advanced information processing, theory and logic, information systems and decision support, and data science. Now these are not mutually exclusive, so you can have courses that are in more than one of these tracks, if you want. So for example, there are courses in both data science and theory, and of course, both in information processing and data science, or in distributed systems and theory. So you can have more than one of these in every course. However, when you take courses, then you must use at least three tracks, at least one course in, in three tracks. So that can be done quite easily, even if you take only courses focusing on data science, for example, because as I said before, some courses have more than one track assigned to it. In addition, if you take 25 credits in one track, then you can, your master's degree can say that you have a focus uh, on one specific topic like data science or advanced information processing. At the end, you also have your master thesis with its 30 credits. To start your master thesis, you need to have done all your prerequisites first. So how long does it work? Does it last for? So normally it should be three semesters. Right. So we did four courses for three semesters and the thesis. That would be the standard thing. Then you are doing four, the four courses in parallel with your thesis. Or you could do uh, three semesters of that coursework and then one semester just with your thesis. Just to take it easier a little bit. The maximum you can do is six semesters. So that's basically uh, three years without any additional extension. If you need more than six semesters, then you need to ask for a formal extension of your master work. Exams are performed at the end of the semester normally. 
and there is also a repetition date. You should make sure that you either withdraw for the exam um, or contact your lecturer if you don't want to, to fail a course. Because if you fail a course, then you can never try it again. So you either do it once, maybe you fail the first exam. If you also fail the repetition exam, then the course is failed. Now the program works like this. We have two systems, the LMS system, which contains all the course information, all the course documents, all the assignments, and other course material, which is the ILIA system hosted in Bern. But for registering for the course and registering for the exams, you have to use another system called Academia. This is hosted in Neuchâtel. If you have any question about how this works, the website of JMCS has all the documentation you need. This presentation is just a summary. So what is there to do? First of all, if you are not registered um, at Neuchâtel, then you have to register for the Benefree Network. And for the spring semester, it's February 28. The autumn semester is September 30, normally. You have to select your courses before the deadlines. So between September 4 and October 13 uh, last year and February 5 to March 15. And there is a period of registering for the exams as well. If you're not sure if you're going to make it for a course and you want to avoid just failing it, then you can always withdraw from the exam two weeks before. Okay, so if you have no time to really revise, then probably you should try and withdraw from the exam. And if you have doubts, you can contact your lecturer. So the detailed info about this is available at the James Ellis website. Now, if you're traveling from one university to the other, then you need to be reimbursed. So you have to keep all your receipts. You will be reimbursed for every half fare pay. <coughs> and the lecturer has to sign every attendance. For the master thesis, you have to find the supervisor yourself. There is no centralized system for doing so. So if you attend the class and you are interested in the subject of the class, then you can talk to the professor and you can ask them if they can be your supervisor. Then you can register the topic and send the form. All the information you need is available on this website, including regulations, maps, train schedules and everything. Michal Lugen can uh, help you with the student and association stuff if you want to contact him. So the website is looking like this. You can look at the program, admission options, about the research groups. You can find information about individual lecturers. You can find information about specific uh, courses. You can see exactly when every course starts and when it starts and ends every day. And you can also check out all the rules. So this is important. Teaching rules, exam rules, how do you get the credits, how do you travel, how do you register your master thesis. Now at Neuchâtel we have four professors. Felber, who is working on distributed systems. Shavoni, who is working on security mainly. Chen, who is working on distributed learning and generative models. And me, Dimitrakakis, who is working on reinforcement learning, human AI, fairness and privacy. Now, the system for managing your courses is at Ilias. There, you're registering for the courses briefly, uh, sorry, just for looking at the material. You can use your login ID at Bern or at it will work. And then you can see everything related to the course. Like your slides, everything. Now, how does this work? We have a bunch of professors who are part of the committee for deciding what to do in individual cases. So if you have a problem, if you want to request, then the committee will take your request into account and decide what to do. The committee is led by Andreas Hom. 
As I said before, there are some prerequisite courses. So typically we ask for uh, discrete mathematics, AI operating systems, language compilation, um, 30 credits more or less to be taken in uh, the Fribourg or Bern or Neuchâtel University if you come from a HESO. If you come from somewhere else and we decide that we need to take some extra credits, then we can also uh, do the same thing. Not exactly these courses, but uh, some courses like this. So these courses are usually in the local language, but there are exceptions. So artificial intelligence, for example, is given in English and French, uh, but language and compilation is given only in French. If you come at the University of Neuchâtel, then we have the following facilities for you. The library is available with computer science and mathematics books. There is a master room you can work in and meet with other students. And there is a center of languages where you can learn English, German or French. Um, there is also a nice uh, sports center at the faculty and one by the lake. And for the cafeteria, we have lunch at the cafeteria or at the fridge. It's not very expensive. Uh, you can also eat in town if you want. Now, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to send them to me um, or Andreas Ham, so preferably to me. And if it's something I cannot answer, then I will ask Andreas. If you do decide to do a computer science degree, then the typical career path is to become a computer scientist in a local company or a multinational company. Some people uh, do startups or work for a startup. Some people want to become a professor at a HESO or a professor uh, at the university. This is a longer career path and this is kind of a shorter one. Now, finally, if you do come to Neuchâtel, it's relatively cheap compared to other places. And when there is snow, you can go cross-country skiing. Uh, there's lots of mountain biking lots of hiking and climbing you can also go sailing or swimming in the lake for alpine environments you typically need to take the train and go down towards Bern or uh, Interlaken but it's possible and of course the nightlife here is is pretty nice the food is pretty good that's all I have to say thanks very much <laughs>